I'm going to do an easy eye makeup look for you today. I also have something new that I want to share with you. I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue as my eyeshadow base today. I have an hourglass concealer brush that I'm going to use to blend that in. I did this look yesterday to go to work and I liked it. I got it in my box. <laughs> I got it on my waterline. It's a nice brightener for your waterline. The Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. I don't know what color I have. In case you're curious, I think this is marked way down. And in case you're curious what color I have, it's number 11. I'm going to use some Makeup Forever shadows today. They're in this family. I don't know if they still have them or not, but I'm sure you all have a cream, a brown, and a gold. So I'm going to start with the brown and pack it on the outside corner. So the weather is warmed up again today. I'm hoping that that's it. We're not going to have any more chilly weather. So remember I told you I bought that piece of lily? Well, and I said that sometimes the morning sun beats straight on the front of the, on my front porch. So I've already burnt one of the leaves. So the piece of lily is sitting inside the front, inside the house right now waiting for the sun to get up over the house so it won't cook it. All of my daylilies have bl have buds on them. I can't wait till those bloom. And they're daylilies. That means that the bloom lasts one day and then that's it. So I'm looking forward to that, that display. I'm still working on that outside corner. I'm gonna blend it up and out some. And I'm going to take a pencil brush and bring it underneath. This is a metallic, I believe. I believe that's the, the formula for this particular color from Makeup Forever. It smokes out real easy. If you're wanting a finite line, an exact you would not like this, but if you want it to just smoke out around your eyes, you might. All right. Now I'm gonna take the gold, and I'm gonna put it on with my finger. So I can pat it on. It's really pretty. I'll list the colors in the description box. Like I said, they probably may not even use this coloring system anymore, but they have lots of colors and I'm sure you'll find something similar. That is, a, that is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeliner. I was doing an experiment with that this morning. This pencil brush has that brown on it. I'm just blending the border between the highlight color and the... Oh, and I used the, the lightest one, the cream for the, for the highlight. I'm going to use the cream on the in, inside corner too. This is what I wanted to play with today. So let's see how I do. I think I've seen enough videos on... <laughs> Here's the instructions. <laughs> if I can't make it work, we'll go back to the instructions. All right, 
So you got this double-ended thingy bobber. Let's see, this end says seal and this end says bond. Okay, I think you, this is what you do. All right, all right. I don't know if I want the outer or the inners to be long. Maybe I'll just put it on the way, exactly the way it's laid out in the thing. All right, I'm going to take the bond and I'm going, and you put it on like you put it on, like you put on mascara. So I'm assuming this goes with this eye. So I'm going to take the center one, oh they're delicate. I have to have a mirror so I can see. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what direction to go with. Oh, here we go. They make that look way easier than it is. Of course. Now I've got some some of my own eyelashes all bunched up over here on the edge. Okay, well that's one. Let's go for another one. Evidently I'm not holding it right. Okay, let's try this. See if I do better this time. I think the people that demonstrate it must practice with them a lot before they before they go for it. The tacky part seems to be staying tacky. Maybe I would recommend that you do one section at a time instead of the whole, the whole eyeball. Okay, now I'm gonna go for this one. I want to redo this one. I'm going to take the bonding again. Okay. And I'm going to try again. Definitely not as easy as it looks. I think I may have it positioned a little better that time. I guess I'll, do, I'll try to put one more on there. I should have done, I guess they're fine. I'm gonna do one more. I may like my, my smaller tweezer better than the one they provide. The one they provide may be a little, just because I'm not used to maneuvering one so big. Okay, I have to use it. I'm not sure how to go about it. What? There we go. I might need a drink after this. These were pretty expensive, but they said that they're reusable, so let's hope so. Okay, I didn't have enough glue on, 
Well, it's still not sticking. I have it in my, it's, I have it stuck to my tight line, not the my lashes. That one was stuck, stuck to my skin, not my lashes. Okay, there we go. There's one side. Let's try it on the other. This time I'm going to, I'm going to do them the same though. I wish that I had put the shortest one further in, but since I didn't, just for the sake of having symmetry, and I'm only going to paint one section at a time. Alright. So there's one section. I'm going to take the shortest one. I think that, I think it's a bit a little bit shorter and put that These people that just put this bonding on and just slap the lash on, I think it's a camera trick. Of course, it took me a little bit to learn how to do strip lashes. So I guess it's not coming off the... There. Got it on there. Oh, I stuck it on the same side. really off my game today. Alright, so the tips are have the lash, the lash, I would only put the bonding part on lash section at a time have your lash pulled off already and you go at it like like this turn your thing around and put it down and pull and gently drag the lash onto the bonding all right now i'm going to do the seal part and of course i did not read the directions so or maybe an even easier way to do it than that. So there's the seal. They look pretty natural, don't they? All right, let's finish the eye look. I'm going to put some of the pillow talk in the bottom lashes, not the tight line, not under the lashes, but in the lashes, like that. I'm going to get my, I want, ah, there we go, I want this mascara so I can avoid the false lash, the false scara lashes. And put some mascara on my lashes in the front and on the bottom. I, I would say for the first time they didn't turn out bad, right? Looking at it close now, it looks like I, I could benefit from some... I think I got some glue in this bottom lash here. So avoid getting the glue, the bonding part anywhere where you're not putting lashes. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and I used my good apple 
foundation from KVD. And now I'm going to contour my nose. See, there's very little, there's very little left. Good thing I have, I think I have three backups of this. I'm going to use, I want my um, e.l.f. brush. I don't know what I did with it. Maybe I washed it. Maybe it's over in the dry cycle. I did wash brushes this morning, but I don't think I washed any personal brushes. All right, so let's contour the nose. I think I encroached on my highlight. There we go. Let's contour, let's contour bronze the face. I'm using the Buxom Staycation back in Backyard Bronze. It's a primer infused bronzer. It used to smell vacation-y. <laughs> I think the vacation smell wore off. I got these positioned nicely. These aren't positioned as nice. But we'll we'll get this is just the first try. I'll I'll try again. They say to just clean them up with some alcohol if you want to use them again. And this pack was like twenty dollars, so I'll probably want to try to use them again. The front of this brow is not right. So I'm taking the brow powder from the center of the focal lure and giving that a little bit of color in the front. I understand why so many YouTubers do brows off camera. It uses up the battery. <laughs> Bringing your hands over the over the perfection of the brows. There we go. All right, so I pulled out a old Becca blush. I don't know whether it's available anymore. Of course, it's called Songbird. It's got a lot of yellow in it, doesn't it? It's a very yellow peach. Instead of a pinky peach, it's a yellow peach. Yeah, this, this side looks wonky. I know, I'll stop, I'll stop fretting over it. All right, let's do lip lips. I've already misplaced my 1993. I put it somewhere safe. So next time I find it, I'll just leave it out on the desk so I don't misplace it. All right. I have no idea what I've done with it. So I'm going to use the color Chill by Becca. That's nice. I'm going to use the color Spanish Pink by Todd Board. It goes perfectly with the Songbird, I think. I need some brow gel. I'm still using the, Pen the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It's still my favoriteist right now. I haven't used brow soap in a while. 
Okay, that's my look. The main thing I wanted to do was to share the eyelashes with you. And um, we'll do them again. I'll put some follow-up notes in the description box. I didn't make a big deal of the makeup today because I'm going after this I'm going for a walk and it would be a lot of wasted effort. I've really enjoyed spending this time with you today and I love the conversations we have in the comments. Please let me know in the comments if you've tried these lashes and if you haven't, do you, are you going to give them a try? I, uh, I know I made them look difficult, but maybe if you read the instructions first, it'll help. Y'all have a great day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Ta-ta!